What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of your police lights. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops out there fighting for our freedom. God bless the veterans. And God bless Israel. Alright guys, so this is a request. I'm finally going to do it. Somebody had asked me the other day, giving me a really good challenge because this is one of the tougher mods to do guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's tough to figure it out, but it's easy to do once you get it. We're going to be, ch I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the lighting on the police vehicles, okay? Now, I hope you guys are not tired of this vehicle, but we're going to use the same vehicle that we used yesterday and the one in the K-9 video, which is the ELS Blaine County 2015 K-9 Tahoe. We're going to be using that again, guys. Okay, so if you've already got it downloaded and installed, don't worry about downloading or anything, but for those of you watching me for the first time and you have not downloaded this truck, go ahead and click that link below. That says the Blaine County 2015 uh, K9 Tahoe. I believe that's what it says. And it'll bring you to this page right here, guys and girls, okay? And, of course, it's this vehicle right here that we've been using. Now, the person that asked me to do this, you would ask me to change from red and blue to all blue. But the thing is, this vehicle is, by default, the lights are blue, okay? So we're going to change them from blue to blue and red. All right, that way to be more like of a city vehicle. Um, so go ahead and click that green download file right there, that button. Click the download. Now this is just for those of you that don't have this vehicle yet. If you if you installed it yesterday or from the K9 video, don't worry about it. Just just go ahead and and keep what you got. Um, and then uh, we got to wait. There it is, right there. What do you want to do with ELS Blaine County 2015 K9 Tahoe? Uh, so you need to click save right here to throw it directly into your downloads folder. Or you can click Save As to put it uh, wherever you would like. A choice of your, uh, a destination of your choice. So I'm going to hit Cancel. We're done with that. That's the, that's all on that part, guys. Uh, this is going to take some open IV, of course. Uh, it's actually really simple, guys. Nothing much to it. So go ahead and double-click that ELS Blaine County 2015. Pull that up. And then open up your open IV as well. Now, for... My regular viewers, if you have watched me, then you will know to have this installation path saved into your favorites right here. And it will be under vehicles.rpf, okay? Now, the XM file has to be dropped too, so that's going to be under pack default in GTA 5. So if you have both of these saved, we're going to be using these right here. See, that takes your XML files. And let me go back to this. Now, for those of you that do not have this installation path, I'm going to tell it to you slowly. So make sure you have your open IV up and you're ready to click these click on these uh, buttons, okay? So for those of you that do have it, just be patient, hang tight. I'm gonna get with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So the pathway for this right here is going to be mods, update, time 64, DLC packs. Then scroll down and click Patch Day 20. Then click DLC.RPF. Time 64. Then click Levels. GTA 5. Then Vehicles.RPF. Now, once you click that Vehicles.RPF, it'll bring you to this page right here. If you have not done it yet... I would highly recommend, make sure you're in edit mode when you do this. Click edit mode, guys. Go ahead and go into edit mode. We're going to be needed here in a minute. Uh, click favorites. Click add to favorites. And you'll see it says vehicles.rpf. Just click add. Okay. And once you do that, you'll see it right here in your favorites. And then from then on out, all you got to do is click vehicles.rpf. And it saves you from going through this whole pathway again. It's just a lot of time saving. All right, guys. Let's get right into this. Okay. So go ahead and go to your WinRAR and double-click that ELS Blaine County 2015 Tahoe. we got three files here, guys. 
Don't worry about the readme text. That's what I'm here for. <clears throat> um, so you got Sheriff right here. This is Sheriff, okay? It's going to be, um, it might have been different yesterday, but I'm pretty sure it was Sheriff. If it's not, guys, then just, you can either change it to Sheriff or leave it the way it is, and you don't want to override any of your other vehicles, but you might. I don't know. But just put it to whatever you want. Mine is under Sheriff. I've changed it recently. Um, so, anyway, go ahead and highlight those bottom four if we can get it. Don't get the XML yet. We're going to get that here in a minute. All right. And then grab these, drag them, and drop them just like that. All right. Now, those are in. Now, if you guys want to see what we're looking at for the first the first timers, double click that sheriff.yft right there where I just clicked at. And make sure that your open IV is in edit mode. And it's going to show you what we're working on here. So see, by default, all the lights are blue. See that? All these are blue. The ones in the front, um, it's got windshield lights, it's got side runners, and it's got um, too many light bars in the back here with some strobes, okay? And we're going to change these to red and blue instead of all blue, okay? That's what our goal is today. So go ahead and close out of that, all right? Now, what I want you to do next, we're going to install the XML, okay? We're going to install that. So here's how you get to that pathway. Click ELS, and then click Pack Default right there now for those of you that have not done it yet again click add to favorites it'll say pack default in gta 5 and click add okay and then we'll add it to your favorites you guys see the stuff i got saved it's there for a reason makes things a whole lot easier now here's what you want to do do not install this xml right here okay don't install that one let's go back in winrar go up to extras now see right here where it says red and blue double click that all right, now see that sheriff.xml right there? Grab that XML in your, in your open IV, just like that, and drop it, okay? Because that's for the red and blue. I don't know that it matters, but I do it just to be safe. Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do next. Go back to the vehicles.rpf pathway right here where your installation path is. If you need it, right here's your installation path across the top of my open IV right here, okay? So here's what we're going to do, guys. This is how you change the light colors, all right? First of all, minimize your open IV. All right, now you see these little folders right here, the lens, M4, uh, the Micron, and the, and the Tier 3. Okay, so this is the ones we want. You're going to just grab these right here. Grab the first one, the lens 6. Bring it over and drop it right here where you're going to be able to see it. Okay, right there. Now you see where it's making sense, guys? Go ahead and grab that M4 and do the same exact thing. Drop it about right in there. All right. Then grab your Micron. Drag it. Drop it. Okay. And last but not least, the Tier 3. Drag it. And drop it. it you know, when it comes to this, these LSPFR mods, mostly everything pretty much, 98% of it, is drag and drop. If you notice that. You constantly hear me say drag and drop it. Now, guys, here's what we're going to do next. So you're going to go back. Uh, we can actually close out of this. Go ahead and close out of this. And um, don't delete the shortcut yet because I want to double check something. Pull up your open IV. Now, instead of your open IV being on this side, if you have it on this side, bring it over here, okay? And then stretch it out just a bit, just to where you can still see these. You want to make sure you can see those guys. It's very important, okay? I promise. We're gonna, I'm going to show you why. Now, what you want to do is you have these sheriff files up here, okay? But what you want is the sheriff YTD right here. I believe that's the one. Maybe. Let me, let me check. Sheriff YTD. That might be the skin and stuff. No, this is it, guys. This is the one we want, all right? So we're going to stretch this over here. Very carefully pull this out because you don't want to click any files and actually drag them out of there. So very carefully pull this down, all right? Now, as you can see, this is the dashboard of your vehicle, okay? It's actually got a start button with it. it. actually starts it by a button. Now, this is the easiest way to do this, guys. Instead of scrolling through all this stuff right here, and just, I don't know what the puppies are about, and scrolling all down and trying to find it, just go like this, guys. Look. Click up here where it says Search Textures. Click in there. Now, you see this first one right here? It says Lens 6. So type in L-I-N-Z. 
Now there's your first ones, okay? These are your first set of lights. Look, guys, you just match the names. Lens 6 with Lens 6. M4, M4, etc., etc., okay? Now here's how you want to do this. Now make sure your open IV is in edit mode. If it's not, you're not going to have this replace option, okay? So if you don't have this replace option, go back and put your open IV in edit mode, okay? Now here's what you want to do. We're going to click, remember the name of it, Lens 6, okay? We're going to click Replace. All right. Now, where do we drop that at? Right, on our desktop. Correct. So you're going to find that Lens 6 right here. All you got to do is double-click it, and bam. There it is, guys. See the red light come in? All right. Now, the next one we're going to look for, you can click that little X right there on the search tab. The next one we're going to look for, you just got to simply type in M4. All right, now here is your M4 lights right here, okay? I think that's the only one. Yeah, that's the undercarriage there, it looks like. So you're going to make sure you're clicked on this M4 right here, okay? Go ahead and click Replace once again. All right, click M4, the M4 lights right there. Like I said, guys, just match them up. See how it changed just then? If you'll watch it, the lights will change. The lights will change when you double-click it. All right, go back to the Search tab and clear that one out. We're going to type in... Micron. Now here's these lights. Now this is going to change from blue, blue, orange to red, blue, and orange. So this light right here is going to change to red when you double click it, okay? So go ahead and click replace. Alright, make sure you're on your desktop. And then click that micron and watch it change. See that? It changed that light. That's how you know you done it right. Alright guys, last but not least, type in the tier 3. There it is right here. Now this light right here is going to change to red. All right. So click replace. All right. So you might have to scroll down a little bit in your desktop. Double click the tier three. There it is, guys. You're done. Now click save on the bottom there. Click your save button. Once you once it saves, it'll close out. The the window will close out. It takes a minute sometimes, guys, because it's it's saving all this stuff. Okay, it's saving everything together. So it's going to take a minute. It might already be done on y'all's computer. Mine just might be weak and slow. All right, guys. So I want to double check one thing. Let's go to the pack default in GTA 5. Just make sure that your share of .xml is in there, okay? Because if not, your lights will not flash. They'll just steady burn. All right? So um, go ahead and click edit mode once more. And there you go. And then close out of your open IV. And that's it, guys. That's how you do it right there. Now, I want you to go in your vehicle, and I want you to spawn that vehicle. And I want you to come back to my YouTube and comment and tell me how it worked out for you. Because I promise you those lights are red and blue, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to my video today. I appreciate the love and support, guys. I am now at 1,100 subs. It is amazing to watch my channel grow. My Discord has got nearly 500 members in it, guys. Listen. If you have any trouble at all with your LSPDFR, okay, anything at all, I don't care what it is, if you got the loading black screen, if your EUP's not working, if your police radio's not working, whatever the issue is, come join my Discord, guys. I have an amazing support team in there that can help you solve any LSPDFR issue that you have. You go in there, you can ping a support a moderator, head moderator, an administrator, anything you want, and someone will come to your rescue within minutes. I promise you. Ask anybody that is on my YouTube, that's also on my Discord, and they will tell you the same exact thing, okay? Guys, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate you tuning in the video. I hope you like your new lights. I hope you enjoy everything. Guys, I just can't say thank you enough, y'all, for everything y'all do. I'll also leave my Instagram down there, my Twitter. You're more than welcome to follow me on that. My PayPal donation down there as well. If you want to toss a few dollars my way a little bit is better than nothing at all. And anything is always appreciated, guys. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.